Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to Ostrov, where it is definitely harvest season. Look at all that wheat bundled up out there, just waiting to go off to the mill, the windmill. We do have a worker, we still don't have any sense of how it works, so hopefully this episode will... What are you doing? Carrying wheat to where? Okay, well, I think we're going to find out how this works. So, now that everything has been harvested, I think, so i got to go check the sixth field, we are awaiting. We've got wheat being brought in, and that wheat is being reserved by you. Well, you look at that. Who is going to grab it? So, that's how it works. We've got to get the wheat harvested, then it's brought into the farm, and then it is delivered brought in by the windmill when by the miller we'll, we'll say so yeah we do want two workers here so we can get this process going rather quickly so which which also means we need a lot of laborers in here so here's something i don't know will snow harm this do we still have to get all this in by november in other words do we will we be smart not to limit that to only a few workers hmm we'll go there right now and we'll throw in one official worker in case that somehow... It does say the workers do uh, the plowing. It does say it does that they do the plowing. So maybe that's not smart. I don't know if that one will then jump in and help these guys. Or if that just means that that worker does nothing until there's a, a plow available. Uh-huh. Order a plow. Need two adult oxen and a carpenter building. We have the carpenter building. It's still showing up. So apparently the oxen are the problem. We still got to come up with the oxen. It moved. Really? Does that thing move with the the direction of the wind? And you grab this thing and rotate it around? Oh, we're going to have to watch this one. That was aimed that way before. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to watch that. See how that works. Um Otherwise, autumn is definitely coming in. We just hit November. The leaves are falling off the trees. They're starting to, to brown out the, the grass down there. The reeds have pretty much dried up. We do have one worker over here who is in here doing what? Just kind of sitting around, huh? It may be that he doesn't work when the weeds, or the reeds have dried up don't know I'm thinking we don't necessarily need him right now I was leaving him in with the idea that we would add reeds over the or thatch over the winter to our supply of, of possible uh, things to sell what if we did this let's put just 10 in for now it's taken a long time to get the, the wood brought over anyway but what is that these guys are grabbing trees from the building site over here Oh, that's interesting. So if you don't have something checked to say, please come and get uh, you know this tree next, then they apparently choose building site trees first because these are certainly not the closest ones, but they're still going over there to get them. That's great to see too. All right, bridge. I think it's time to get the bridge in. We'll do that, and then we'll do the houses over the winter time. We still have lots of food. I had asked three fishermen so we can get lots built up so we're going to have hopefully three units of fish in here it's still 1.5 0 0.9 0 0.9 in there okay now i'm curious if we hired a manager who would automatically rotate crops would we get to still choose what crops are being made or would it just give us the balance of what is you know, a good balanced uh, uh, grouping you know if I were to do this would all that change I don't know just hired okay so we're fallow fallow what are you potato hemp hemp and wheat curious to see if that moves we don't really need the manager, I don't believe. 
because I did it all manually. And I don't know that there is another job that the manager does. But let's see what happens when this rest period is over. Let's kick the speed up a little bit and see if anything moves up there. All right, you are going to work, OK? And you're not a woman. So something has changed to where the, huh, working, OK? And you are just sitting in there, OK? Nothing changed here. It's the same order. Yeah, I don't see the need for that. So you can go back and do other jobs. We're picking everything up. The last of this one did get done. There wasn't that much because it didn't have much of a growing time in there. And we haven't started working with this yet. So I am thinking we want more of these. Though they insta-build. So it's not something that I've got a race to do to get into the queue. Okay, This, though, I would love to see accomplished. Though I'm thinking the laborers are all busy. That's why we limited it. When snow hits, we'll, un we'll, we'll put a limit back on there again. Right now, whoever is available is pretty much working here. So when snow hits, if these are not harmed anymore, or, or not harmed by the snow, then we'll put a limit on here so we can get some laborers going back in here again to get the cow shed in. Then maybe we will send out a trader. What's the word? Right there. No active trades. Wasn't there a sense of sending out a... I guess we have to have somebody, a manager in here. Maybe a manager in here will give me the option to do that. Right? There's no feature in here that sends out uh, someone to make a, a trade deal with somebody else. But I, until we bring all of these in, I have a feeling... What is that? Oh, it's a bird. I thought it was a couple of kids running around the field over here. <laughs> um, it's that just coming in. So that just coming in, which means that there's now room in here. I'm just wondering if we're... I'm not seeing any activity, which tells me that when this is brown, maybe he doesn't work. Going to work. Okay, he's right there. Let's watch what happens. I'm trying to learn what seasons... Here, we're still processing. Okay. What seasons change things? That's moving. Okay. Let's try to keep that on the screen for a while. I wonder if different months that's aimed in a different place. Or if the game has a sense of wind direction in the background but isn't really showing it to us here. Let's wait for someone to, to come and go from this building. All right, came in. Doing a bunch of wheat. Doing something. Now it seems to be stuck. Huh. Are you... Okay, that turned off. You're going back in again. And what you doing? You're going to get some more wheat. Okay. But did that move just a little bit? I think it did. I think it was a little more diagonal before then. I just didn't see it. I was looking over here. I'll have to check it again when I edit. Let's see if there was a movement there. All right, this building site still has five trees left to take out. These do not. And this one, nobody's assigned to it. That is odd. First one in the queue. We're getting little bits done here and there. Are we looking for laborers? Well, there's our answer. Up in here, they're all looking for laborers because the laborers are, well, the, those that are available are all assigned here. Hmm. Well, let's kick the speed up. Let's take this into snow. Until there's no more room for fishing. There's nobody still hired here, right? Right. Okay. And there's no actual reason to even have this. Although we could have multiple fisheries. Yeah, we could have more fishing docks and more people hired at them. Which would give this guy uh, future use. 
Okay, so it's not necessary for us just to tear the tear the building down. All right, you guys, you're going back out again. We're coming up on the end of November. We've got one, two, three fields completed. We've got five people now working over here. This has still got no laborers, which will probably change when we get to snow. We'll see what happens. We've got three houses queued up, which reminds me, I want to think about a little community over here. Market stalls, well, all that sort of stuff in this area for those folks. And then that'll probably end it there. The next community probably needs to jump the bridge and get over here. And maybe another bridge eventually and another thing over here. What are you? Okay, another little birch tree. Okay. Uh, end of November. Snow's going to hit. Slow it down. Let's watch what happens. River is still. Okay, you're coming in. You're going out. Hopefully you don't get frozen in the in the snow and the ice out there. Um, do we get a sense that anything's being harmed here? Any warnings? No. We're not a hard freeze yet, though. Fishing boat progress bar as to how uh, how much more fishing to do is my guess. Speed it up a little. Not moving. Okay, <laughs> that's not it. Any changes out here? Speed this up a little. No, you are headed over there, so you're still doing that work. Okay. The mill, still functioning. One worker. Fishing boat, on his way in. He's racing the ice. Got to get in there. Boat's filling up with snow. <laughs> Speed you a little. We are... Don't get a sense of which date. I, I never really noticed the year before. This is 1722. Interesting. So, will we eventually be able to take a town into the 19th century, into the 1800s? All right, I am guessing that everybody here is done for the year. Still have a bit of a reflection there. So, maybe we're not truly iced up yet, but I think we're done. 4.1 units of fish in there. You guys can all go find other jobs. And you just went home. Okay. Okay. You are not needed. Keep you mothballed. We've got one worker in here. That should be more than enough. 15 reeds. Let's keep an eye on that. Is there any reason... Oh, can they gather reeds in the winter? So let's give them a reason to use reeds. We've got our 10. No, we need two more. Let's take this up to 12. So we had 20 reeds over here. When they grab four out of here because we have a limit of 20 they're going to use some of the 15 to make those four will we ever see more than 15 before spring all right otherwise in here we've got 30 wheat coming in we're still waiting for more so apparently they can pick these up afterward these not a mowing season four hay is stored four hay is stored and there's no sense of delivering it to the hay barracks. So maybe that is also a labor issue when all of our labor is being used here. So let's take this back down to four. There doesn't seem to be a winter deadline, a winter time limit on our wheat. Four people are going to max out in here. The other ones are available to do all the other jobs, including getting this guy built. And you're taking the long way because... You live there, and you work there. By the time you get there, you're going to need to go back home. Yeah. I wonder if the game yet employs people based upon distance. You know, the laborers will all be living right here for working here. I wonder if we're going to see that at some point, or if that already is the case. Um, you... I can't click on a person here. I've got to go find them. Okay. You. Live here, work there. Okay. 
Live here, work there. Live here, work there. And are going to deliver. You're delivering, but you're not finishing this job. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to... Boy, if I pause it while the delivering is happening, what happens? Does the game go, uh, I don't know what to do. Pause. Nope, you're still going to finish the delivery. Okay, that's what I was curious about. Um, let's turn off show path. All right, speed the game up. Let's let things progress a little bit. So we have our game plan for crops next year. So don't have to worry about being surprised. Be nice to see... Ah, we have a laborer working here now. You are... Show path. Grabbing a, a cart to grab some lumber. To make the long trip over to drop it off. Okay, we're working again. Good. Did the lumber get dropped off here? It did. Ten of it. Good. That's mothballed. You have 21 reeds. So this does work in the winter time. That's what I wanted to know. So we can take this up to 20 reeds and not worry about bankrupting our town of, of building supplies. Okay. Wood, 10 of 10. <clears throat> We've got wood. 197. You are going to be 100 again. So we don't necessarily have coins to trade with. I assume that we're talking more of a barter system. So we're going to have lots of wood in here to barter with. Though still taking a long time to get firewood delivered. Do I want another worker in there? I'm not sure that I do. But let's go ahead and hire a manager. And yeah, let's take you down. And let's see about making that trade deal with the nearest one right there. Send a messenger. Cost 30. There doesn't seem to be a, a uh, an issue with running out of money for the town. So we're just going to go for it because we don't have 30 to, <clears throat> to spend. Brought in 176 and we've spent 400. So we're always going to be running out of deficit. How that's rectified later, I don't know. But uh, we'll, we'll find that out someday. All right, supplies are coming back in. This one over here, clay is available to them, and a little bit of wood. At that one, that one, this still has three trees left. Okay, wood here. No trees are in storage. So, oh, oh, I just saw it. You see that? He walked over, grabbed it, and swung it around. That's really interesting. I've never seen a game do that before. That is very clever. That would be how they did it back then. That's I'm excited. Those little things like that. That that that's good. You are just gonna go to work. So wow. Okay. Um little community up in here. Is that what's next? We're into December. I don't know if there's anything else I need to keep my eye on. Active, everything is still the way I left it. Potato, two hemps, and wheat. The hemps will be used for, well, they will be used for. Okay, so there's something to think about. The weaver's shop needs to go in to deal with that hemp when it does happen at the end of next summer, which is what could happen up in here. All right, so here is a, a job site that needs to be near its supply and near its workers. So it looks like I want to touch T just a little bit to line up with our wonky road. Now we'll go back. All right, you're going to go there. So three houses, you, and the next chain of that supply is the tailor's workshop. You can go right next door. Thinking it's right here. Yeah. All right, you two are there. We're going to need a market stall out here eventually, though I don't need to employ it yet. But I can go ahead and place it. Uh, you're this one. Market stall right in there. Like so. We're going to want a well over here. Um, right there. And is there a, a good place for it? Eventually they're all going to walk through the woods here. This is, these trees are going to be gone.
I guess back in here. Yeah, the business end is right there. So that'll be there. And cart storage off in this area sounds like a smart thing to do. <clears throat> cart parking. And we didn't see the carts being delivered to the other ones. Where to? Do we get into this wide road over here for it? That might be smart. For that matter, the well may have gone better right there. Building cannot be demolished. Okay, the well goes right there. <clears throat> Can... Okay, we could not take out the boatyard last time. Cannot be demolished. Slow down. Can I do it now? No, it still can't. So it wasn't just the building phase. It's the model itself. Okay, so that's not built into the game yet. All right, so the well is going to go there, but cart storage is here, and we could order one cart. Over here, we ordered two carts, and one is in place. Oh, we ordered one, and we got one. They're just not using it at the moment. Okay, there are three in here, and they're using those. All right, well, I feel like we've... We've gained some insight as to how the game works there. Um, oh, they're all in. Now, question. I didn't get to see it. Maybe you guys did. Did they all get carried in? Or did we hit January 1st and what didn't come in vanished? Like there was a timer. Right now there should be no laborers. Well, there's one doing what? Working at, you're heading into here, why? Let's do that again. Nope, you're done. Okay. I'm kind of wondering if the last little bit's vanished. That's what it feels like to me. Although I was really concentrating over here. I guess I, this would have been in my view. So I'll go back and look at the edit as well, or look at the video when I edit to see if those all hit a timer. That'd be good to know as far as uh, timing things out. All right, so now is a good time to build. Our laborers are not being used for this. So spring and fall and into winter are going to be tough times to get buildings built because your, your labor force is being spread out to do other things. That's interesting. All right, we're good here except for homes available. Quantities of food for the town. Where do you see that? Not there. Here? What do we got here? Fishing boats, workers, open vacancies, 38. Okay. Not getting a sense of food here. Food is available. These are our age, no, our wealth distributions. These are our ages. Most of our people are 24. Four to 27 years old. Okay. So there's a round of kids that have been born. All right. So our next wave of builders is going to have a 15-year void in there. Is that what I'm getting? Uh huh. Stuff to plan for. Here, what we're paying in salary last year, rent, Local sales. Local sales would have to be the market stalls, which I still haven't seen anybody go to to buy something. So it must just be accredited to them during their off, you know, their, their rest times or something. But I'm not seeing the animation built in yet. So this thing swung all the way around to here now. Well, that was really interesting to find out how that worked. Um, how's our well doing? Lots of water there. Lots of water there. This has not been built, and nobody's bringing anything to it yet. So, cow shed, waiting for, looking for builders. We've got supplies waiting. Waiting for builders. Why? No workers. Two over there. So, we've got 45 wheat stored. Ah. We've got flour here. We need to get flour set up. We did, and it's already there. Let's get this set up on all of them. None. Flour. What did I... Right there. Here. Flour. Okay. Get that going. And over here. 
there's no sense of hiring a worker yet, but we can say that we want fish and flour here eventually. And maybe a random laborer will start stocking that, I don't know. I can see using multiple windmills. That's going to take them a long time. I wonder, though, if they will continue to work on that all through the next growing season and finally get to where they've, they've finished up after that. How are trees growing? What size were they originally? Let's go... Boy, where is that? Here. Decor ash tree. Oh, yeah. You can, you can see the, the size difference. Okay. Neat. So I guess we could just start throwing a whole bunch of extra trees in here and fill this back in if we wanted to. I mean, that's how you would do it anyway. You'd refor replant your forest. Hadn't thought about that. Do we want to build in here? Well, eventually, we're going to want more trees available for this particular one, or we're going to take it out and go somewhere else. So, yeah, let's get... Now, I wonder if you need hardwood versus softwood for certain things. Softwood conifers grow much faster than hardwood trees. You know, ash and, and what cottonwood, birch. Birch is pretty fast growing though. Pine. Pine works good for firewood, quick burn, quick growth. Let's let's plant a bunch of ash in here. Hold down the shift and then R and T rotates. Uh huh. <laughs> So let's go ahead and put, I'll just keep rotating as I do. I don't get the sense this is costing us anything. Let's move out a little bit here. Um, what did I say? R. Hold the R down, just keep them spinning. We'll make it look quite uh, random in here. All right, so we have a new forest ready for us. Ready for us. <laughs> ready for us at some point in the future. Um, by the time all of these are taken down, then hopefully these will have grown. That might be a little too dense in there, huh? So a road up in here, maybe we'll leave a pathway across there for a road. What are we doing? We are still waiting for this. I wonder if a distance from where everyone lives or where the supplies are has any factor involved and why it has taken so long to bring this stuff. He's bringing two clay. We're in here. Clay will be needed soon. In fact, clay is really the next big thing. Then we'll get another load of wooden nails. At that point, it's probably the roof or something. And then a whole bunch more work. And then the, th the thatch will arrive. Thatch, 12 of 20. Thatch, 20 and 21. So we're working as fast as we're going to work there. You're unemployed. You're unemployed. Just kind of double checking all my stuff here. People living in here, they got flour, they've got fish, they've got water, they've got firewood. Firewood supply, 164. And lots of wood. I guess we can take this up to its max now. I don't see any reason not to. The only thing they're not doing is bringing more logs in. Uh, building site, one tree left. I think once that's done, and they're hauling one of those, you know, each tree gives you two logs. So once they get rid of that last one, which is where? Probably that one. Yeah, that makes sense. And then they still got to haul this guy first. So each tree seems to bring in two logs. So once that's done, I guess I was going to say I'd queue up some, some local ones here so the, the process is faster, but I'm assuming they would, they would go to do those anyway. This doesn't need to be here as far as um, protected. That was just an experiment. Let's unprotect these now so we can get these taken out and protect. Alright, any others? You? Change my angle here. Got you? Yeah. That's probably all of them. So you guys can go ahead and take these out. I'm going to make the guess that they will not take them out until they hit a full growth. So they're not going to be cutting down saplings. Hopefully that's the case. Otherwise, there's a lot of micromanaging to protect all of the saplings until they grow enough. 
little trees. They're different from the reeds. I guess these are weeds rather than reeds. Maybe so. We're in January and probably coming to the end of a... Hello! Of an episode. Will you look at that? Some little laborer elf snuck in when I wasn't looking and got the job done. Let's get ready for next year and set up some more of these. So, where am I? Not that one, so I'm this one. You. And hold the shift down. Too bad I can't get them in, pack them in a little bit tighter. Can you go away? Demolish? Ah, good. All right, right there. Let's fill this area in the best that we can. Right there. I held the ship. Oh, I held the control down. Try that again. There and control. Okay. So there. Ah, that entrance. There. And uneven terrain. So that is the end of those. All right, we got four in the space that we had two. All right. Place is occupied. All right, we'll do that, and then let's put in a hay barrack. Oh, good. You do have a smaller space, smaller footprint. So I can do something like that over there. Let's see this again, though. There or up here? Well, this was going to be a road. <laughs> that's right. There was going to be a road through there. Oh, well, that's not going to happen now. But you can see where the entrance to it is, the, the front. So let's spin you around and that big rectangle in front of it. Put you back over there and leave you right there. All right, these four are going to supply these two. Now, windmill. 44. We are taking this down really, really slow. So, yeah, I do think we need to get one more of these positioned somewhere. Windmill. Where? Near here. Remove trees. I think it does need to be right here. Yeah, we're just going to take those out. We're not going to take out that birch right there. We'll leave him. That'll be our uh, memorial tree for, uh, for the town. Okay, windmill there and there, closest to the source. These guys will be going in right here and here for the thatch, or for the hemp. And we planted potato, which doesn't have any processing after that. Um, we aren't into cattle yet, so we're not going to get into the slaughter or the shoe or the tannery. Smithy is functioning again. Yeah, and you are here. We have a thousand nails again, so let's turn you off. And there's another worker that's able to do other things. Um... Cow shed. Sunflower is still two years away. Thatchery, weaver. All right, I think we are in a good position right here. Trading granary. What do you do? Your food storage. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that sounds kind of important, huh? I'm thinking you're in this area. Um, R? Let's T that one. All right. Can you? You kind of can. There? Not in there. How about your back to here? Uh, R. There's a spot. That does kind of sound important. Let's pop you in there and then read about you one more time. You're here? Granary, right there. All right. Granary workers collect chosen resources to have them stored all in one place. It's useful to have a granary close to a market. Ah, okay. So granary there, the market stalls are going to be here. Yeah. So really, you're replacing the camp center? Temporary building to be later replaced by the town hall. No. So you're replacing the camp storage. Okay. And then the town hall's got to go in. So 
So once this is built, oh, I'll bet you this vanishes just like the tents vanished when the houses went in. That may well be the case. Town Hall, I'm kind of thinking, goes somewhere in here, near that campfire. How big was that? Could he have gone here? He could have. Right in front of the campfire? I kind of like that. Let's do it. And what order does that happen? We need these. We need that. We need those three houses and their well. We need these to deal with what's going to come out of next harvest. So we're going to, yeah, we're going to work with the two temporary buildings until all of this is done. And there's a timer there. That's part of the game. But let's... Now yeah, I want that one done. Next time, we'll release the bridge. Yeah. So with that... And this is the cow shed that's never going to get built. Yep. This has been Noble Rambler. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.